in the house tonight, Thanksgiving night at MK. Our Representing in the most bright way. Coming here for, yes, another installment of This Week in Disney. So grateful and full. No rumbly tumblies in the monorail. Yes, it was a wonderful Thanksgiving. Yes. And now we're going to bring in the Christmas season at Magic Kingdom. Yes. So all the Woo. Yes. yes. <laughs> in the best place possible. So hit us with our first, of course, Christmas event this week in Disney. What is it? November 30th, 1955, the Disneyland television series airs the story of the animated drawing hosted by Walt Disney. Nice. So this is really cool. They actually go through, they start out with cave drawings and they go all through like history. Sounds like our talking spaceship about Earth. animation. This is something that yeah. you can watch on Disney Plus. Yeah. Really, and really amazing. Didn't they do like a book with it? Yes, the art of animation. Um, at the time when they were filming it, they did not have um, the book finished. And so it's just a prop, <laughs> <laughs> the show. Um, but I went out and had a hard time finding it. So maybe it's out of print. Okay. So um, it says that they printed it, but okay. I wasn't able to find the publish publishing on that. And you can't find it in yeah. the segment as well. Yeah, but I remember just watching this. They. They go through all different um, types of animation, and I think this is interesting for Disney to be doing because, of course, they were, you know, we've talked about how they were teaching animation as well to their artists and like progressing with it, and so that showing the progression through history, it shows that Walt Disney was interested in them progressing in the company and taking on new techniques. Mm -hmm. I mean, he even showcases. Yeah what they had done to give to the world of animation, which at the time he recognized. You know, there were yeah. things about the company that had never been done before. Well, there's always a high amount of interest in art and whether someone has or possesses artistic talent. Yeah. You know, I mean, there have been uh, a lot of little turtles drawn and sent into artists associations to find out if they're an artist. Like, instruction is always, I mean, Bob Ross on Saturdays. People really <laughs> love instruction and dreaming of being able to draw. So yeah, but this is cool. I'm so glad it's on Disney Plus. It's a good one to go yeah. watch for sure. And um, you know, I think it's cool if you're interested in animation to to watch things like this. There's other things on the history of animation books you can read and such. But this is a good show to kind of get a grasp of um, you know the progression in drawing as well and what some of the artists have done in the past in Disney. Yeah, yeah so go check that out. Thank you. Woo, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Happy Thanksgiving. I got an orange one too. Wow. <laughs> Jedi strong with you. Yes. Mace and Luke. Obviously, we missed it last week. Gotta jump into the Jingle Cruise while the crowds are with the fireworks. 35 minutes. Well, we missed it last time because of the holiday party, but Thanksgiving party has us jumping on the Jingle Cruise. First time this year. This season. And there's all the changes. Yes, so we'll this is how... our first yeah. Jingle Cruise with all of the additional changes. How do those uh, chimps celebrate the season? Normally I frown upon not wearing Disney to Disney parks, but you invoke the Christmas season and the Jungle Cruise with Zelda. Um, to be clear though, that Jeep is not for sale. That is mine. Uh, I couldn't get it to start this morning. Quickly got it to turn over. Uh, I put it in the water. And everyone knows that uh, that one in front makes a great fruitcake for 10 months. Uh, I totally
<laughs> no, it was excellent. <laughs> she had you... some new content. Right? Yes. Yeah. It totally was. The, the running joke was hilarious. She would yeah. point out all every, every animal. She was the like, it's land. the fastest land animal. It runs 33 miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> it was a running joke, of course. Wonderful. <laughs> well, the running bit around here is Disney events. Why don't you hit us with next week, with this next this week in Disney event. What is it? Do it. On December 3rd, 2002, uh, Disney releases Mickey Mouse in black and white under the Walt Disney Treasure Banner. So these were the Treasure Banner releases. Yeah. They actually, this was um, the part of the second collection. They had already run the first one. Okay, so this um, was volume two. Right, okay. which was hard to get. Right, there's um, one. <laughs> These were awesome. I mean, yeah. metal, mm -hmm. metal tins. And before this release, I mean, this was just archive material. Mm -hmm. This was not in home material. They put all of the black and whites in right. metal tins. There were actually nine waves, each containing two to four sets for a total of 30 titles. And so really, you know, obviously before, we didn't have um, access to a right. lot Disney of this Channel was until about they did it. the treasures. Right. It was really exciting. Yes. You know, we were super excited to have um, these copies of things. These were uncut, mm -hmm. digitally restored picture, and remastered sound. And bonus features. Exactly. Yep. Which is really cool. So. Yeah. Leonard really? Martin or mm -hmm. Malton was the one who um, introduces did, like, the, all of them. The introductions on it. Turner as Classic well. Movies, mm -hmm. voice of Turner Classic. Yeah, it gave um, context as well for the dated work and kind of talks about, well, you know, why they would have certain things like that maybe we wouldn't find appropriate today. You know, he oh, discussed sure. that in a very right. a, a gentle, appropriate way. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So yeah. awesome, awesome. Really, I'm really so good. glad we have them. Check them out. <laughs> Brad is so good at getting. <laughs> well, it's right these... behind me. Not hard. <laughs> no, I'm saying oh. like in our past, we, oh, yeah. you know, you always are good at like yeah. making sure we have all the, the good stuff. <laughs> gotta have the Disney ball open in our home. <laughs> Absolutely. You never know what's going to happen. Now we have Disney Plus, but it doesn't have all of, of you know, these things on it. So they're still worth purchasing, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, of course. So the night is winding down. Most grateful and thankful for this night. But you know, we haven't really mentioned that tomorrow is our wedding anniversary. We had a Thanksgiving wedding. So I just picked up something. For Tiffany, Etta Rabis. It's very exciting. She doesn't know. It's in my backpack right now. Filling it. I'm filling it. I need to get something out of the backpack. Yes. Ironic and iconic with the anniversary gift that I got from Arabis Brothers for Tiffany. That's it. Striking midnight. Midnight. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Last time you were here, we went to Hollywood. Happy anniversary, Tiffany. Happy anniversary. Mm -hmm. Love you. Happy anniversary, Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Our first well wishers. Yeah, so we should go get buttons. <laughs> <laughs> you wear them to wherever you go tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They'll be going to Epcot. Dad's going to be playing D&D. I am. I have, nice job. yeah, I have an online convention this That's weekend. That's awesome! Playing D&D <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's dream come true. <laughs> and next up, on same day, December 3rd, 2021, so last year, uh, at, so well, <laughs> in Orange County, or actually Central Florida, celebrates... Okay. We were here, we live here. 
we didn't really totally recognize this. So oh it's goodness. really exciting. What did we miss? Walt Disney World Day. Okay. So yes, this was a Central Florida thing. Mm -hmm. And um, they actually had uh, Disney executives and Disney cast members go and um, uh, go and work at the Harvest Food Bank in honor of the theme park's giant 50th anniversary. So Mickey and Minnie Mouse um, take special appearance at the event, wow. and Disney collects and distributes 823,000 pounds of prepared uh, unserved food annually and supports Second Harvest, serving more than 40 area nonprofits. Very nice. Very, very cool. So, All right, so the uh, mayor of Orlando came to the event and um, presented like a proclamation okay. and everything. So it was a big deal. And then they encouraged everybody to celebrate this by doing a hashtag of pictures of your, you know, on TikTok or Snapchat or course, Instagram. Instagram. Wow. <laughs> hashtag uh, WDW Day on Instagram there you go. right so this is for December 3rd so the first year was last year so I'm wondering yeah, they'll well, probably it do again. it again this year so we're gonna definitely Happy Walt try Disney and, World Day. and do a hashtag WDW day <laughs> um, and you just put up some of your favorite things your favorite uh, experiences uh, visiting the park so how really fun because everybody can be involved but I like how they made like part of I don't really know what the decision was to, to do the whole event or to have the day, uh, but I like Disney's decision to make it about serving others, yeah. serving the community, yes. and giving back that way. Yeah. So, yeah. Really and impressive. I think that was really inspired at the time mm -hmm. by um, so many cast members in need um, they were. with the pandemic and closings. Mm -hmm and the nature of all that and how it affected different lives like right i, I felt like a like a lot of those programs like exactly this one <laughs> <laughs> kind of addressed that and the sensitivity in the community that you know the community is cast members outside of the parks right right and you know there was a lot of people who were out of work at the time yeah. and stuff and it was very very difficult yeah. hope so, it continues this year yeah i think it would be great if it did so yeah. you guys look out for that <laughs> so we're here back at the house right by the disney shelf what did i get at magic kingdom from arabis brothers for tiffany for our anniversary it's the perfect gift. Would you like to see? Let's yeah. open it up. <laughs> <laughs> so that I can't be accused of not listening to what she actually asked for and wanted. We have. <gasps> Yay! Uh, oops, it's yeah. falling. Out. See you there. Yeah, I can wear this one tonight. There you go. Swap yeah. it out. So yeah. shimmery. I love it. Happy anniversary, Thank Robert's you. Brothers necklace. Thank you. But now what? Every Disney princess should obtain and acquire and have of her own. What is it? Okay. All right, look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow. An actual glass slipper. <laughs> wow. With a heart that's on it. Amazing. My heart on it. Yes, it does have But that's heart not quite it. enough. You need oh, it comes with a, pillow? a pillow for it as wow. well. Oh, that's so perfect. That's so dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> It really, really does. Wow, that, that is amazing. Thank you so much. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Happy anniversary. It's like, it's not even a big, big deal of a year, right? <laughs> well, it's an off number. It's not a fiver, but everyone counts. Thank you for each and every one. There we go. There we go. Perfect fit for a perfect Disney princess. Happy Thank anniversary. You. Love you. Love you.
lastly, on this week, December 4th, 2018, Walt Disney World's popular candlelight processional is live streamed for the first time ever. There you go. So Enjoying they you done here that. at mm -hmm. Epcot at the candlelight processional right. with all of your footage. Tell us about this <laughs> particular one. Right. So this year, um, it was narrated by Neil Patrick Harris mm -hmm. and it's actually on YouTube. Um, on Disney parks um, there's lots of candlelight processional options on there mm -hmm. uh, but I'm interested to see so they did it in 2018 and 2019 both times with Neil Patrick Harris of course. Um, so I'm wondering if they're gonna live stream it again this year mm -hmm. um, because they missed like, like 2020 Whoopi? they didn't do 2020 <laughs> and 2020 because remember we didn't have it I think one right, of the right. years. Well, no, really? Yeah, anyway, one of the years. Okay. And last year, it wasn't totally the same. They mm -hmm. didn't have the whole choir there. But this year, we, we saw it, as you know, mm -hmm. and experience it, you have the full choir. And I'm telling you, like, the sound is so amazing. Large choirs are amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, they just... Resonance. It's like stereo beyond. And mm -hmm. I just love that they get to have so many people To involved. stereo... And beyond. Uh huh. So, like this week, we saw um, Simu Yu. Mm hmm. <laughs> and was that Shaolin? <laughs> Yeah. Yes. And so the crowd was wild for him to be there. Mm -hmm. um, but also what I found, because we were there, obviously, as we've shared on opening night, and there was so many people there to see him and just like yelling for him and waving at him. But then there was so many people there to see their friends and family in <laughs> yes. the fire. I love and that. I think that's so cool. You right. could have someone really famous up there that people are excited about but then you have you know the real friends. stars behind them <laughs> right <They're those> kids. <laughs> or friends or yeah. family yeah so uh, it, it's just such a wonderful experience and like something we really missed for two years and yes. just having it back it almost makes you realize how special it is to have the full thing going and have yeah. so many voices and oh the the music the orchestra Such a the the brass horns everything about it it's, it's just perfect <laughs> so this is something if you cannot get here for the holidays because before we moved here we never had experienced a candlelight procession because we never came really at Christmas time mm -hmm. well, I think we did once but we didn't ha we didn't and go to Epcot or whatever. So uh, I'm sure plenty of people are in that boat. So you can watch this live or you can see older ones um, on YouTube. So yes. I think that's wonderful. Or you, really you should. can watch right now our <laughs> clips. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> We're here. here we go. We're here. Spaceship Earth, right there. We're here at Epcot for the candlelight procession. Yeah, fun so, night. It's gonna be awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm Maybe very we'll excited. Get some fun treats to eat. We'll see. It's all the new Christmas <laughs> treats all around Epcot right now. Yeah, but we're definitely here for the candlelight procession, and we're gonna have some fun. We got here kind of late. Yeah, <laughs> but it'll be great. <laughs> Too much celebration yesterday. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah.
in your womb and bear a son and you shall call his name Jesus. I know we've got our house all decorated and we have gotten into the Christmas spirit watching the movies totally ready for the season and so much to do here in Central Florida I mean there's tons at Disney every park has something going on we can never do it all but then there's so much outside of Disney as well what do you guys like to do what are your traditions we'd love to hear some of them down any in the favorite comments. recipes family recipes family treats, <laughs> cookies yeah. Tiffany makes cookies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Any re recipe you'd like to share? Yeah. <laughs> or what's your favorite? For we'll sure. take pics and send them. Yeah, that would be awesome. But, back to the parks with you guys, and we will see you guys with more events next week. We'll That's see you right. soon. Bye! Bye. Alright. <laughs> so, the candlelight procession? It was amazing! Oh, it, it was so, so good! good. The it first really night, good. and they were spectacular. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The crowd was amazing. Everybody really wanted to be there. Yeah. It was just it was a good it was a good experience. So super amazing. It's totally you're... worth visiting and seeing it because yeah. the choir and is just top notch. They get the yes. best people. Amazing. It's amazing. 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 Definitely take some time in your schedule of Christmas to go see it if you can. It really yes. brings in the holiday spirit. <laughs> yes. But we're gonna head home. And uh, that's it for for this week. And Our girls' night was perfect. It was a perfect <laughs> night and a perfect Thanksgiving Christmas week. So we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.